Hi y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you this huge homeschool haul. Like it goes off onto the floor. So stay tuned. All right, y'all, well, if you are new, welcome to my channel, Pursuing Peace. My name is Dina, and I am a homeschooling mama of five kiddos, six years old and under. And on this channel, I share my passions for Christ, for homeschooling, and for encouraging mamas in their faith, and in this crazy but amazing season of motherhood. <laughs> so if you'd like to join me on this journey, then click the subscribe button down below, and don't forget to click the little bell icon, so that way you know whenever new videos pop up. You can also follow Follow me over on Instagram at Dina underscore Pursuing Peace if you'd like to see an inside glimpse on what we do on a daily basis. I am also doing kind of a day-by-day um, -day update on our mammals unit from the Good and the Beautiful over on Instagram on my stories. So make sure to go and follow me over there if you'd like to see how it's going for us and how I kind of customize it for my little ones. Okay, so all of this stuff is from different places so like from target from ikea from walmart from amazon and as i go through i will kind of tell you where it's from i am hoping to film this quickly because my little ones are just in their room cleaning up right now and i never know when they're going to finish so if you hear them in the background that's what's happening i've got one right here that keeps trying to get into the stuff <laughs> say hi hi <laughs> And what I wanted to mention also is that I know a lot of you guys are new homeschoolers. When you see all of this stuff, please don't get overwhelmed. This is not something that you need. All you need to start homeschooling is your basic homeschool supplies, something to write with, something to write on, and your curriculum books. That's pretty much it. And so all of this stuff, <laughs> and so all of this stuff that I have is just kind of extra. And the reason I wanna share this with you is because something that I have here might be something that you're looking for. And so that's why we share these kind of hauls. So that way it kind of gives you an idea of, oh, I can use this for this or that for that. So that's it. So without any further ado, I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what I've got. All right, y'all, so here we have it and it spills off over onto the floor over there. So I am going to show you that a little bit later. Um, so we'll just start over here. So a lot of this stuff right here I got from Walmart. And these first things right here are pouches. I wanna put these in their science binders so they have their pencils and scissors and crayons and everything that they need in there and I don't have to um, kind of place them every time. Oh, this is not supposed to be here. <laughs> And over here, we've got some watercolor paints um, that are really inexpensive out at Walmart. Over here, I have these dry erase boards and I put these in with their curriculum because their curriculum um, calls for it and I definitely use it all the time. So I have three of these and these are not very expensive at Walmart and they are they like are really good quality. Um, so I really am glad that I found those. Here I've got a sketch pad, and this is kind of a neat little thing. It's, it's got um, a little pocket cover here, and I got this one, shh, don't tell him, I got this one for Solomon because he is always drawing. So it's just pretty much, it's just paper. He is always drawing and always asking for paper. So I got this for him so that way he can have something to write and then he can decorate the cover if he wants. He is really, really into drawing right now, so I got that. Um, these over here are actually not from Walmart. These I got at a homeschool um, consignment store that is in my area. And here, mammals. Um, and this one is basically just kind of almost like a dictionary of all of the different mammals. So this was kind of neat. I thought this would be a really good resource for when we're going through our mammals unit, which we are going through right now. This I also got, we are studying American history this year, and I know this says it's for middle school, but I thought this would be kind of a great like read aloud for us. I'm gonna start doing morning time, so I figured this would be kind of a good resource. Um, and I mean, eventually they will be in middle school, right? So I'll, I'll still be able to wear uh, use them. Um, and look at these guys, we found these at the consignment store also, these little Dick and Jane readers. And I just thought that these were just so cute. <laughs> it reminds me of all the good and the beautiful um, readers that we have. So we have that one. I believe we got another one. Oh yeah, here we go. Um, and I had them pick out whichever book they wanted. And so the girls got that one. See, we've got some other like my first or I can read. Um, David and the Giant. 
and Dan of the Den, which I'm assuming is um, Daniel in the Lion's Den. <laughs> And then over here, again, like I said, we're doing American history. So I got We Sing America. I realized that I don't, I haven't been teaching the kids a lot of the old, you know, American folk songs. So I thought that this would be a really good way to kind of introduce that. I think I'm going to play it in the background, like for circle time. Sorry, uh, morning time. Morning circle time. We're kind of doing both this year. <laughs> so yeah, so I thought this was a really good resource. And these, y'all, I have been wanting to get these. I've seen them kind of everywhere on youtube and i've been wanting to get these so bad um it's harriet tupman and like i said we're going through american history and unfortunately this is part of our american history and so i think i'm going to kind of just take a look at it and i don't know if i'm just going to use it as a read aloud or i'm going to use it as um the unit study this is a unit study guide the next thing, book here is like states and capitals and this is a really good one I think I will keep this in our morning basket too when we're going through the different states I'll just pull it out and we can read facts about all of the different states and this one draw USA I'm so happy that I found this at the consignment store this is such a neat it's a step-by-step -step guide to drawing the United States we did this one for Africa and we have it for Europe you can get these on Amazon also and look at this. This is just step by step. This is so neat. I thought we could kind of just one day just kind of go through and draw all of it. Oh, and then paint it or trace it or, you know, whatever. We did do it for Africa, like I said. And I just had so much fun with that, this personally. So, so this is such a good one for the kids also. And then I found, let's see, this activity book. I don't know if this is Usborne. No, it's not Usborne. But I have seen, oh, it's Kane Miller. Um, but it's just an activity book across the USA. They only had one. I know you can get this one on Amazon, so I don't know if I'm going to try and get this for um, my boy Solomon also, or if I'm just going to kind of keep this for Abby for her um, time when she is up and um, the other kids are taking naps. Um, and then the last book we have here is My Body. And this one is actually recommended uh, by Classical Conversations, which we are studying the human body this year in CC. And this one was recommended. Um, and I found it there at the consignment store. So I thought this was a good pick. Okay, so I put all those books back. So let's come over here. Let's start down here because <laughs> that's going to be hard to kind of go through on top. Um, so I got just some whiteout. I believe I got this one at Target. I love these little whiteout things. These are like my favorite. Um, so I got whiteout. Ticonderoga, I got the pre-sharpened ones, and I only got a little pack this time because we still have some left over from last year. So, but they want these pencils like everywhere in the house. So I got some more because that way we can have one like kind of everywhere. <laughs> these I got from the Target um, dollar spot. No, that's not right. I got these actually from Walmart. So Walmart back in their book section, they have these, and these are very similar to the ones that are at the target, ty, target <laughs> dollar spot. Um, yeah, I got one for each of my older kids and we'll just kind of use it kind of sparingly here and there, I think. Okay, and coming up here, you guys, this tape is the best tape in the world. It really is transparent. I know a lot of times we'll get transparent tape and it is really not transparent, but this is really good. Um, I can't remember if I got this at Walmart or Target, but I mean, you can get this anywhere. No. Oh yeah, Walmart. And then this one is from Target. And I got this first and I didn't know if this is the one that I liked or that one was the one that I liked. So one of these is the best <laughs> tape in the world. <laughs> we'll figure out which one it is. <laughs> um, these I got from Walmart. So this, anything with this pen and gear is the Walmart office brand and it is so good. I love everything from Pen and Gear. It is um, good quality for not a very expensive price. So I really like Pen and Gear. So I got three different sharpeners and these will go inside their um, latchmate bins. And so they will each have one. Um, so we don't have to go around looking for all the pencil sharpeners when we need it. Crayons, these were 50 cents each um, at Target and at Walmart. Um, now these dry erase markers are some of the best dry erase markers that I have ever used. 
um, because a lot of dry erase markers, it's hard to take to erase them, which is kind of weird. <laughs> but these are really good. They erase really well. Um, and they lasted us all year towards the very end. I want to say like the last month or so they started to kind of die down as far as like ink and stuff, but they lasted all year long, you guys. And so I highly recommend these and they're not very expensive. Like I said, that pen and gear um, brand from Walmart is really good. I also got these gel highlighters. These are mostly for me. I like to highlight things and um, I just kind of want to try these out. Um, now coming over here, now this was in a package and I had to use it last night. <laughs> so I got a hole punch. Um, I think this is from Target. Oh gosh, I can't remember. It might be from Walmart. But I got it because I just could not remember if I had one or where mine was. And um, I didn't want to have to worry about looking for one. I think it was only like two bucks or something. And then I got some scissors because for some reason we have run out of big like adult size scissors. I don't know what happened to all of those. But... And so here I got some tie dye. This is from Walmart. I thought this would be a really good like first day of school activity. And actually there were some people there at Walmart and she said they have looked all over the place for a good tie dye paint. And this was the best and the cheapest. So um, yeah, so praise God that I was able to meet them. So I got different colors. I think I ha also have another red. And I also got t-shirts um, from Walmart there. Um, I could only find the youth size, so I got youth size small. So they're going to be a little bit big on them, but that's okay. I mean, it's, it's all for fun. And then I actually got the baby one too, so I'm excited about these. <laughs> okay, let's just go down from here. Here are some craft supplies that we got. Googly eyes, y'all. These are a hot commodity in this house. Like, I had to pry them away from my boy. <laughs> Um, to film this video for you guys. <laughs> so he is like chomping at the bit waiting for me to film this video so he could open these and get into these. So I don't actually know if these are actually going to make it to the next school year, but um, yeah. <laughs> so I got um, large ones. I got colored ones and these are all from Walmart. Um, normal size ones because I know that in the Good and the Beautiful um, Pre-K, they use googly eyes for a gluing activity. Um, and then kind of a variety pack. Um, Pom-poms, I mostly got these for the big pom-poms because we use them um, to erase the dry erase boards. Um, and I keep one pom-pom in each of their latch mate bins. Down here we've got glue, and these were on sale at Target also. I believe this was $2.50 for the pack, so I think it comes out to like 50 cents each stick. Um, and this should last us our whole school year. I don't know because Oh, my kids have just been using up glue like crazy, and that's okay because I want them to get be creative, and I, I mean, these are super cheap, so I can just go by and get some more, even if they're not on sale. <laughs> I got these packs of erasers because I have one, and for some reason, <laughs> they really want to use my eraser all the time, so these were on sale, and I got them um, each their own, <laughs> and that's not supposed to be here. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got a sock here too. <laughs> oh, this is how it goes, right? Okay, let me come back up here. So here we've got a bingo game. This I got at Target. And we got United States Geography Bingo. And I thought that this would be such a good thing. I'm, I have a few other games that I'm getting from Amazon. Um, and I just, I really want to play more games with the kids this year. And like I said, we're studying American history. And so... I'm looking forward to that. The kids love bingo games, so I'm looking forward to that. This here, I have mini craft sticks. And on the Good and the Beautiful um, Facebook page, there was someone that recommended these, um, to use these for the Good and the Beautiful Math Level K as tally marks. In the, in the math activity box, they give you toothpicks, but the toothpicks kind of roll around and they're hard to kind of manipulate sometimes. And so she said that she uses these and I thought that was so brilliant. Like my mind was blown. So, and they're not very expensive. I knew right away from the packaging where they were from. They were from Walmart. And so, yeah, I, and they're so easy and they're so tiny that they would fit. Um, and I just need a few of them to fit into the math activity box and, th and it'll be perfect. Okay, going down from there, we have these pens. I got them at Walmart. They're the felt tint pens. And if you have seen my, um, I don't know, I think a few different videos, 
Um, I say on there that I really love the felt tip pens from Sharpie. Um, and so I opened this up, Shh, don't tell Target, but I opened this up and they seem to look like just like the Sharpie ones. And so I think I'm going to have these as my planner pens because um, they're just so pretty. Um, <laughs> so every once in a while a girl's got to um, invest in some pretty pens, right? <laughs> so coming down here we got all kinds of markers, y'all. Um, so washable markers, just those thin ones. And then we've got the classic markers. And then these were from the Target Dollar Spot. I don't have a lot from the Target Dollar Spot in this haul because the Target Dollar Spots in our area are non-existent right now. I don't know what's happening. Well, I do know what's happening. <laughs> a lot of stuff is happening in the world. Um, so that's just kind of causing the Dollar Spots to just be a little bit late this year. And that's okay. I mean, I'll probably go at some point later on and just kind of check out what they've got. But everything else was kind of already on sale, so it was fine. These are chalk markers. I'm wanting to use um, our chalkboard right there and kind of draw a little bit more on it. Um, just the different things, maybe draw like a heart or human body or something like that. Um, I'm not that great at it, but I can copy pretty well. And so I wanna see if I can draw something like that. Um, I don't know if these markers are gonna be good for that, but I wanted to get some chalk markers. These are some stamp markers. You know, you open them up and they're actually stamps and um, and markers, so that's neat. Um, and I apparently have some more washable markers down there. <laughs> My kids love markers. So let's just kind of move over on this side here. These I did get at the animal, um, no, the Target dollar spot. And they're just cute little books. And I thought that these would be good. My um, oldest really likes animals and so I thought that these would be um, kind of interesting for her and then big cats this will be good for um, the mammals unit also um, so yeah so I got that and then at the Target dollar spot they had um, glitter paint and I have a feeling this is going to be opened right after this video also <laughs> And this I got for my toddler. Um, it's just kind of tracing and stuff like that. Um, these Kumon books are really good. Let me see, look, we've got this one. Um, and these are, this is the one I have right here. And these are just really good tracing books for little hands. Um, this I got from Target, but you can get these at Walmart. You can get them on Amazon. Um, they're the Melissa and Doug reusable sticker pads. And this one you guys have has actually been um, They've already kind of done it all. <laughs> but they're so neat. You've got five different scenes here, and they just have pads of reusable stickers. And this can keep my kids busy for a long time. I actually think they have all the stickers in a bucket. <laughs> so they took it all off. Um, but this can keep my, my kids busy for a really long time. I actually got two of them. The other one has like trucks and stuff, but that's in my boys' room. I highly recommend this. As far as having activities for them, if you want them to kind of sit while you're doing school with the other kids. So this I highly recommend. Next thing up here is I've got these twistable crayons. And I love these crayons for my toddler mostly um, because uh, she can't break them and she can't eat them. So... <laughs> That's pretty much it. So I like those for my toddler. Up here, we've got a huge stack of just paper things. So here we've got heavy paint and um, marker paper from Target, obviously. Um, Astro Brights, and I really like the colors of these Astro Brights. And these are mostly for me, like for um, um, if I want to print any sort of reading chart or something like that on a colored paper. I don't like primary colors, you guys. I, If you can tell from my school room, I, I, I really don't like primary colors. So having this is nice for me because they're more neutral colors, but they're still fun colors that the kids can enjoy. Um, the next thing I got just your, you know, your regular... Um, wide ruled paper and this is just for um, their science journals now construction paper <laughs> this is also a hot commodity in our home <laughs> they love construction paper so this is probably not the last bit of construction paper that i am going to buy this year <laughs> and then printer paper we got i got the big one 750 sheets from target um i actually can't remember if it was even on sale but i wanted to get some printer paper because, well, for printing. <laughs> That's it. I don't have to make a bit a different reason for it, just so we can have paper for printing. 
The next thing I got here is I got some binders for their memory notebooks um, because their memory notebooks are starting to get a little bit um, like the rings are breaking and stuff like that. So I wanted to get binders for that. Here I have um, the twistable, here I'll pull it out for you. The twistable colored pencils and we really liked these. We use them all year long. Um, the only thing about these is sometimes the crayon itself pushes back in to the pencil um, while you're trying to color. And so that's kind of annoying. <laughs> but these, um, other than that, these worked out really well. And that doesn't happen with all of them, just with certain ones. And I can't tell which ones exactly it happens with. So it's just kind of a hit or miss with that one. Um, we've got Elmer's glue, which was on sale at Target. Also, I think it was 50 cents each. We have index cards over here and I got these because more than words it does a thing where you create flashcards and so I got these for that and then also I know the good and the beautiful has um, certain activities where you use these and so it's always nice to have index cards because you know what the kids can create books and they can play with these really well so index cards are really good to have around now these are from the target dollar spot this is just sketch pads. Again, drawing is a huge thing in my house right now. So I got one for each of my older kids. And then watercolor paper. And I'm going to use this. The Good and the Beautiful calls for watercolor paper a lot. And I love that because there's a lot of artwork. And I really do think that's why my kids are so into painting and coloring right now. Because they weren't before. We've done it so much with our curriculum. And so we've got these watercolor sheets. I'm going to keep some like this, but I'm also going to put them in Abigail and Solomon's student notebooks. And I will be showing you those student notebooks in their curriculum videos um, coming up really soon. And so I got three of those. Let's see, where are we at? The next thing over here, um, our little town had a little like, um, it's kind of almost like a trunk or treat where um, you go, we went to a parking lot and we just opened up our trunks and sold um, like curriculum and books and homeschool supplies from our trunks. <laughs> it's like the black market of homeschool supplies. <laughs> So this stack of books is from there. Again, we are studying American history this year. So I got the, is like who was books. And my kids, um, they might be a little bit too young for these books still, but I think my oldest one will be able to enjoy these. And I might do it kind of as a read aloud and stuff. So who is Christopher Columbus? What are the Twin Towers? What is the Statue of Liberty? What was the first Thanksgiving? What was D-Day? Who is George Washington? What is the Declaration of Independence? And what was the Boston Tea Party? These aren't all of the American history ones that this um, brand has, but these were each like two bucks. And so I nabbed them up pretty quickly. <laughs> and this one I got for my toddler, just a little kind of um, classic for her, um, but just in a very gentle, way my friend Rachel over at seven and all has a whole video about like classic books written for toddlers and for preschoolers and so here it is yeah baby lit book and so I know you can get these like at Costco and different things like that but I'm going to link her video down below because she gave me some really good ideas um I don't think this one was in her video, but when I saw this, I like recognized it as a book that was kind of that same idea. And so I'm gonna link her video down below. If you have preschoolers or toddlers and you'd like to introduce them to different books like um, A Midsummer Night's Dream and um, what was it? There's a, there's a whole bunch of books that she has in that video. Then I will link that below so that way you can go and check that out. It was such a good video. Um, I also got this, The Giving Tree. I want to do more poetry this year. Um, and Shel Silverstein has some good ones. Um, and I just, I've been, this is a book that I have been wanting for a while. And I want to get more Shel Silverstein books for the kids. And then this one was actually recommended by my friend Ashley over at Joyful Noise Learning. And um, I think we might do this for Bible. It kind of goes through um, just different things about theology. And theology, y'all, is a hard thing to teach your kids. But this book is made for kids. And I've seen this book around YouTube for a while, but it was Ashley's video that finally got me to just go ahead and buy this book. So I thankfully, I found it at our um, black market homeschool sale. <laughs> 
All right, so the next thing is I want to show you this here. And this box is actually part of it. This is a shelf that is going to go here instead of this. And it looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a little but it's a just a little size so instead of a full size like this it's just half so it's just going to be a little square cubby shelf um, from Ikea that I'm going to put over there and so let's get a little bit closer down here <laughs> okay so most of this stuff is from Ikea um, but some of it is not so I will tell you so this I figured this would be a really good um, blanket for them for right here in their little reading nook corner area um, and so that way they can be nice and cozy as they're reading their books I also might give it to the girls for their room I'm not really sure but that was I love the color of this so I love that so Ikea y'all has a really good school and craft supply area so these are kind of like those stamps from Target they are um, markers but they're stamps so Oh my gosh, you guys, my kids have been wanting to break into these also for a while. Now, these are so good. These are some of the best um, pencils that I have um, bought. And if you see here, um, and I think you can do this with a, a number of different pencils, but if you draw it and then you use a, a watercolor brush with water, um, you can turn it into watercolors and we have done this a lot and they're super cheap y'all they were super inexpensive and now of course I don't remember how much they are but you can just go to Ikea and um, dot com and just like figure it out but these were not very expensive at all um, and I got two packs of them and it comes with a little sharpener in there too so that's really nice okay the next thing I got if you are looking for some inexpensive watercolor paint brushes or just paint brushes in general, these are very good. Again, not expensive. I want to say like three bucks or less. And um, these lasted us all year long also. And so I just wanted to kind of get some fresh ones for the school year because they're not very expensive. So I got two packs of those. The next thing, now these were on clearance, so I'm not sure if you can still get them. These keep falling on me. <laughs> Um, but they're little boxes, so, you know, they're still wrapped because I don't want to unwrap them until I know where I'm going to use them. Um, but they're just little boxes like that, and I think I'm just going to use them as homeschool storage here, um, in the homeschool room. Um, I like kind of closed things like this where you can't see what's inside because what's inside is usually, um, very messy. Um, and I like these two because they're kind of nice. They've got the little edging here, this little silver edging. So I've got three of those. Um, and they fit in the, these like shelves right here. They fit in within the cubby shelves. So this next section here is Ikea. Also, um, I want to get a little bit more um, toys, like fine motor skill toys for my toddler. And these are really great. These are beads and they're wood. And she can paint them if she wants to, or she can just leave them like this, or she can use them as blocks. And so I thought this was really good. And it comes with like a case for it. Then we just have some paints. I mostly got this, you guys, because my Abigail was with me and she asked for them. So <laughs> that's it. <laughs> here I got um, a basket. Now this basket here is from Ikea and I think think I am going to use this as our morning basket. Um, I'm going to put it right on top of this shelf here, kind of soften it up a little bit. Um, and yeah, I think, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this as a morning basket. Okay. So the rest here is from Michael's and this I got kind of at Michael's dollar spot. Did you know that Michael's has a dollar spot? It's right there in front, um, right before you get to the cash registers. <laughs> and so I got this there and um, Abby is always creating. She is always, always creating and is constantly asking for staplers and tape and scissors. Um, and so I got this for her as a kind of gift for her and we can keep it in her school bin and so she can know where it's at and she can take it out whenever she wants to create things. And now this, you guys, I get asked about these a lot, um, more than I thought I would. <laughs> and these are just crayon cases. And I, um, each one of my kids has one of these and I put their crayons in it and it's theirs for the entire year. And they are really great and they snap together so the crayons don't fall out. And yeah, 
These you can buy almost anywhere. I'm pretty sure I saw them at Target. Um, I got my other ones at Walmart. These I saw at Michael's at the dollar spot at Michael's. And so, yeah, you can get these almost anywhere. You can even get them on Amazon, um, but they are a little bit more pricey at Amazon. I think these were a dollar each at Michael's. This is also from Michaels. Um, this is part of their like latch mate. Oh, I guess recollections or whatever. But these fit in the latch mate bins. And I just got these because these are really good to have. And I know I'm going to be doing a lot of organizing. And I, if, if I don't use this for homeschool, I know I can use these in like my kitchen cabinets or in my drawers or somewhere in the house, even in my closet for like jewelry and stuff like that. Um, or even for clothes in their drawers. Like, so these are just really handy and really good to have around. So I have the small little square ones like that. And then I have the long ones that, and again, these fit into the latchmate bins, the top of the latchmate bins really well okay so the next thing I got here is I got these um, happy planner discs for Abby and I'm going to use these for her student notebook I am creating her a student notebook this year and so um, I wanted to do that and I'm going to do kind of a rainbow theme for her so I got her some new discs at Michael's okay and so this next thing big old monstrosity that we have right here this is actually from Walmart and I had never seen it before but what it is it's these um it's got five nope six it's got six of these nope five <laughs> it tricked me um it's got five which is what I thought it had it's got five of these um little cases in here um and then they all fit into the bin and so what I was thinking of using this for is, um, like I said, I'm going to be doing a morning basket this year, I think. <laughs> and so I can put little activities, different activities in each of these bins. When it's morning time, then I can pull out this bin and each of them can pick an activity to play with for the entire morning time. I know that this might cause issues as far as fighting and sharing um but i'm going to try this and see if it works but i will keep y'all updated as far as um if this works for our morning time but i thought this was such a neat idea um and i haven't seen this anywhere else where it's got these containers inside a bin and i've got five kids and so this is going to work really well for us i think i don't know we'll see <laughs> all right one more thing and i'm super excited to show this to you guys um, okay, so I got this <laughs> for our vocabulary words from the Good and the Beautiful um, science units. And so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put it right here. So this is what we're using right now. But like I said before, um, in one of my other videos, I can't remember which one, um, there's not enough room here. The mammals unit has a lot of vocabulary words. And so I'm going to just hang this right here and I'm going to hang the vocabulary words right there too. Now, this also comes with, it was these. It came with um, little clothes pins. And then I got these at Walmart because I didn't know if it was going to come with um, enough or not. It looks like it might have enough in there, but I got these at Walmart just in case. And I saw this on Abby's channel, Abby from Rooted and Rest, and she used this, um, not necessarily for the same thing, um, but she did use it, you know, to hang different things um, in their homeschool room. So I'm super excited about this, guys. I love these little macrame hanging, wall hangings, and I am so excited that I found something that can um, be kind of a decoration, but it can be practical as far as um, being able to hang our vocabulary words like this. So it's so good. I'm so excited for that. All right, you guys, so that's it. That is my homeschool supply as of right now. Um, of course, there's always gonna be stuff that um, you know you add either before the beginning of the year or in the middle of the year. Um, and so, but I wanted to show you what we have so that way I can get busy organizing it and then show you kind of a homeschool organization room tour thing. <laughs> so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so that way you know whenever new videos pop up. And let's be friends. Follow me over on Instagram at Dina underscore pursuing peace. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you are having a blessed day and I will see you next week with another video. Bye. 
legs and under and it, nope, I already did that. I keep doing that. And I'm a homeschooler mom. The, so this pack, start, bleh. so I got two packs. Oops. What? No, that's gonna, not gonna. 